And um, what, given inclusion is one of the themes, there's a, a, a British-born athlete who wants to represent Nigeria, Mike Edwards, yes. who says he's going to protest in the athlete village every single day until the IAAF um, allow him to compete. Presumably, that is that an IAAF decision? Yeah, it's, I, IAAF has a very, very clear um, protocol in terms of transferability, and there's the, there's formal applications that need to be made to, uh, by. Um, of course, by the federations, so the, the national federations uh, to that. And there's an eligibility, you know, everyone has, is under the same rules, and so that needs to be administered uh, properly. Um, when that's not administered properly, the athlete suffers. And this is a, this is a really difficult situation that the athlete is in, the, is in this position. Um, it's something that uh, we've talked to very closely with the IAAF about. Um, their rules are, are, are very clear. Our, also, our nationality and eligibility rules are very clear when it comes to um, residency and, and transferring uh, your allegiance, so to, so to speak. Um, I understand that Mike also trains in the United States, has competed a number of times for, for Great Britain, um, and, and now, of course, wanted to, to, to compete for Nigeria. And that's his, that's his right in terms of self-determination, but it also needs to, to follow the rules. So I, I think, um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to engaging, you know, closer with Nigeria to kind of understand the situation better. But the rules, the eligibility rules are the same and they apply to all athletes. And so we need to uphold that um, and, and the wishes of the International Federation, too. Those rules are, are put in place for, you know, for good reason. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's where we are. So the CGF's in contact with the Nigeria Federation? And Nigeria the, and the IWF. Yeah, that's the right. Contact with Mike directly. No, we haven't. No, we, we typically work through uh, obviously the, the the right channels through the technical delegate and the IWF side and so forth, but then also um, the the Nigerian chef de mission. Yeah, but it's not uncommon for athletes in athletics to change nationality or in the Commonwealth Games. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you get so that, it, but it, it, it's it, there's rules and there's, there's there's nationality codes and and transfer transferability conditions that that need to be met, and that's to protect the interest of uh, and, and of, of fair sport, um, but but also the, of athletes. You know, there have been uh, some cases, and I believe the IAAF has uh, been fairly vocal about this, um, that in some cases you had athletes and their welfare was being compromised, um, and, and not, not really Commonwealth, uh, in a Commonwealth context, but their welfare in terms of transferability to, to certain countries was being was, has brought up some red flags, so to speak, in terms of human rights. <laughs> and so I think that the, the IWF, as it settles and is starting to um, kind of redefine and, and transform some of its policies and so forth, they're taking a very cautious approach to this to protect uh, fairness, uh, freedom and fairness, so to speak. So, you know, I think we need, as a federation, need to respect their, their decisions and their jurisdiction um, even though that sometimes this is, this can be very difficult, um, but I think you know we, you know, uh, you know, most of the time, you know, I would say I would say all the time, you know, we subscribe and and uh, to to doing the right thing, um, but in a fair a fair manner as well. Do you know what his status is at the moment then? Because if he's in the athletes' village, has he he must have accreditation. Do you know what accreditation he's got? No, but uh, it's something that uh, something I, uh, I'm actually dealing with uh, later on today. Um, okay. So we were I had. Uh, discussions with the IAAF uh, as late as uh, uh, last evening and uh, look forward to kind of progressing things today and seeing you know where where things go I think uh, the fact that the, the athlete is here um, you know we need to obviously handle this with care yeah. heavy weighted uh, discussions that we're talking yeah exactly exactly <laughs> I mean, we did straight on equality and social justice you know our, our John Barron and Dead Kiss you know our a UNICEF moment, you know, all of these things were very Glaswegian in terms yeah. of their gallusness, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the audacity in, in, in some respects. But what well, is really um, it's a new picture, but if you go into um, Indian media, despite the corrupt trailer at the General Assembly, because we said this is a Delhi 2010 legacy story, fifth on the uh, non English uh, movies globally. I mean, amazing story, and it's a Commonwealth story.